the next interview is Gil Bravel. Uh, Gil Bravel. Gil Bravel. Gil Bravel. Yeah. He's a fantastic painter. Um, very good sculptor as well. Uh, he his most interesting moment is when he's talking about his youth. Uh, I noticed that some of the the moments that are kind of tangential in these interviews are some of the better moments too. It's not just specifically on the topic. Sometimes mm. they're not as eloquent talking about the specific subject as they are these natural sides that people will make. But speak about how you discovered uh, Zeal Bravel at, as well as what you think of his art. I think Jessica and I were in a town called um, Wimberley. I think I first saw his stuff in a town, Wimberley. That's one of these little... Texas town, te towns that's about 20, 30 miles outside of Austin that has, it, it's known as an artsy getaway. There's a town called Salado, Fredericksburg, a few others that have these kinds of reputations in central Texas in the hill country. So I, 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 I looked him up, him up. He had a website. I said, you know, do you want to be interviewed? He was interviewed. It's only it's about an hour, a little less than an hour. The one thing I do remember is the, the thing that I use for the icon for the video was apparently a painting that he did, or one of the paintings there that I used was apparently a painting of his ex-wife, and he didn't want to use that, but he didn't tell me that until after it was up. And I was like, well, do you really want me to... I mean, it's your work. It could be based on your wife, but it's your work. It shows off your stuff. And then he never emailed me back after that, so I guess he was satisfied. He didn't, he didn't force me to recut it, but it, it, it was just kind of silly. Uh, um, but, I mean, it, it, he makes a few good points. Uh, you know... It, it's again these first ten or twelve interviews. I'm sort of wetting my feet and uh, finding I, the the best ones in the first ten or twelve. I think are the Lauren Isley and the McGowan interviews. Yes, uh, he speaks about his youth, art, and some of the business side of things. What do you think of him as a, as a painter, though? Uh, I think that he is quite a good figurist, and he also is putting surrealism as a purpose to art rather than simply as a gimmick. Yeah, I wouldn't his put him on a... His sculptures I do find a little bit lesser as compared to his paintings. Yeah, um, let me speak. But, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put him on a, 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 a league with Jiwe too. In a hundred years, I don't think he's on a league with Jiwe too. In a sense, he's sort of like a, a lesser iteration of Dolly with a yes. few modern things put in. Uh, so I wouldn't put him as a great painter, but I think he's a very good painter. I think he's got a few paintings you could argue is great. You know, he's yes. someone that I would put, you know, in the league as someone, a, a near great painter. Um, you know, on yes. a scale of uh, one to a hundred, he's in, in the, you know, low, low nineties, I'd put. Um, that's not to say that he couldn't have a, a late street that rallies and he does a sequence of 20 or 25 paintings that are great that you could say, okay, well, he got great at the end. But right now, I, would, I, I wouldn't put him in a league with Zhiwei Tu. If you compare the bulk of Zhiwei Tu's paintings, Zhiwei Tu's are more classical, but they're deeper, they're richer. There's a deeper probe in little things, whereas uh, Dali uh, and Surrealism are big flourishes. Dali has that thing that's described in uh, What's-His-Face's uh, Schlein's book, as dealing with mechanisms that have to deal with the physical universe and properties that Gilles Bravel's doesn't. Gilles Bravel's uh, flourishes, the things that separate him, are things that are generally based upon his perception of the thing at the time, rather than a deep, underwriting uh, idea. He is Dolly Light, and yeah. if one were But in to, a good sense. Yes, in a, in a good sense. He is a very good Dolly Light painter, but... He, if anything is light anything, then it, it automatically makes it, it, even in a very good sense, uh, near great and subservient to the influence.